Okay, let's do a little warm up before whatever else we do today, maybe some warriors. So get your core activated as you stack up your bones, reach the crown to the ceiling, bring those shoulders back and down, spread your toes out, no gripping. Feel those balls of the feet, base of the toes get really nicely spread out and connected, but no gripping with the toes. Sitting on shoulder blades down, breathing in, energy and awareness, exhaling stress and tension. And just focus inward. Allow that inner yoga perspective to be your focus. And inhale your arms to shoulder level for our spine warm up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Stretch the arms out to the front, keeping your shoulders down. And then bring your hands behind you. Just gently clasp the fingers, press them down, and lift your heart. So a nice back bend as you stretch out through the top of your head and down with the shoulders. And then pivot at your hips, exhale over. So just come as deeply into that forward position as your back wants to go. And I'll lift the spinning bones so you get a little stretch on the back of your legs. Hands toward your head, starting to work those shoulders. And then bend your knees slightly. Lift your ribs, drop your sitting bones, wind from the bottom of the spine all the way back up. And lift your heart again for the back bend in that upper back. So don't crunch your neck. Don't lift your chin too high. Stretch out through the top of your head. Shoulders down. Keep breathing and lengthening. And then inhale upright, release your hands, and just take a moment feeling all that circulation. Same thing, reaching at shoulder level, fingertips out, hands to your heart, touch those fingertips right in front of your heart, elbows back. Stretch out to the front and keep the shoulders down. And then clasp the hands the opposite way behind you, so shift them over one position. Lift your heart and stretch your head back, and then exhale, pivoting over. And just come as far into that position as feels good for your body today. Deepening, pulling in with your heart toward your legs. Move your chin around, make sure that neck is releasing. And again, bending your knees, chin slightly in as you work your way back up, and again, into a back bend. So forward and backward motions for the spine. Keep lengthening it. And on an inhalation, come upright, releasing your arms. Next is the lateral motion, so side to side, opening the ribs. Let's keep one arm down, the other arm out, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulders. Push them away and lean, no twist, over to the side. Feel those ribs stretching apart. Push the foot you're leaning away from down. Maybe look up so you make sure you're not leaning forward. And just let this hand on your leg just keep sliding down. Take a breath there, stretching through your head and fingertips. And then inhale back to the top and release. Feel the sides a little bit different on each side, so we need to yeah, balance. Arm out to shoulder level, turn the palm up, arm by your ear. Push the hands away for that lengthening, and again, no leaning forward, just directly to the side, letting those ribs open and stretch. Slide that hand maybe further towards your knee, or beyond if that works for your body. And then inhale back up, and again, releasing feeling what's going on through both rib areas. And we're going to make sure the feet are hip width apart and sitting bones down, base of the skull stretching up so those bones separate for our twist. Arms at shoulder level, toes spreading, hands, palms up, and arms above your shoulders. Clasp the elbows, bring the arms next to your ears, stretch that spine apart, and exhale, twist in one direction. Take a breath and pivot over as you exhale. 
So keep the arms by your ears, lift your sitting bones, just let that whole body sink. So you can keep the weight on both feet, even though you're leaning toward one side. Take a breath, just relax. And then inhale your way back up, staying in your twist as you get into that upper body back bend. Remember, always gentle on the low back while you're twisting. Take a breath, just relax. And then inhale to the top, exhale around to the center, switch your arms around, and we'll twist to the other side. So again, separate the spine, breathe in, exhale, and twist. Take another breath, exhale over. And again, just hang as deeply as you'd like. Weight on both feet as much as you can. And just relax your whole upper body, letting it stretch out. Stay in the twist as you work your way back up, inhaling all the way into the back, then lifting your heart and stretching your elbows back. Shoulders down, head reaching away. Inhale all the way to the top. Exhale around to the center. Arms up into extended mountain. Keep the shoulders down. Keep the head reaching up. Weight on both feet evenly. Keep the arms by your ears. Pivot forward at the hips. And stretch everything straight parallel to the floor. And then drop into round dog. Just hanging. Take a breath. Let everything go. You can pull in deeper with your hands behind your legs if you love it, or not, your choice. And then bend to your knees again. Let's wind back up slowly. Bring your shoulders back and down as you get to the top. Oh, circle them around a couple of times, just releasing that whole shoulder area. And back in the mountain pose. Take a moment there, just feel what's going on through your spine. And let's separate the feet as wide as you want. We're gonna do a warrior. So remember on the warriors, you want your feet as wide as possible so that you can get as close to the realized pose as possible, which is when you have that thigh bone on the front leg kind of parallel to the floor. Most people don't go that deep, so that's okay. Sitting bones down, we're going to do warrior two. So that's the one with the hips staying open. Bring your arms to shoulder level. Stretch the fingertips out. And then turn your feet. So first foot turns 90 degrees, but the hips and shoulders stay facing where they were. And then heel back, toes forward on that back foot. So the knee goes the direction your toes are going. That whole tur leg turns slightly. And then we're going to sink evenly into both feet, spread your toes out, and bend that front knee right above your ankle. And then turn and look toward that knee. Make sure not only is it above the ankle, but that you can see your big toe, but not your little one. So you don't want to sink in or out. You want just straight knee toward the second toe so that you can see that big toe only. Keep as much weight into that back foot as possible. You can turn your hands, palms up. That helps release those shoulders. And then palms back down. Take a moment and breathe. Exhale, tension. So warriors tend to build a little heat. So expect to get a little warm as you're in your warrior position. Keep those shoulder blade shoulders away from your ears. Keep the fingertips reaching out, the head up. Remember, you're sinking straight down. You're not leaning forward over that front leg. Exhale, tension. And then straighten the knee and turn the feet back to the front. You're in your star position. And go ahead and release those arms for a moment. Feel the circulation. Feel that core working for you. And of course, we're going to balance and go to the opposite direction. So again, check that your feet are starting straight ahead, everything nicely lined up in that body. So hips and shoulders face the front evenly. Arms at shoulder level once more. Keep the shoulder blades down. Turn the foot 90 degrees on that first leg, but don't turn the rest of your body. 
And then heel back, toes forward, but don't pull that hip around, keep it pulling back. And again, when you're ready, bend the front knee right above the ankle, sink straight down, check that knee, make sure it's not leaning over so you block the big toe or leaning out so you see too many toes. You want it right above your ankle so that you see the big toe, but not the rest of them. Take a breath. Just sink and relax. Feel that heat building up. And then straightening your knee and turning to the front again, star. So energized from the heart all the way through your fingertips, up through your head, down into your feet evenly. And then release your arms for a moment. Breathe. So we're going to do some variations on that warrior position. So the first one we're going to do um, is called Shooting Warriors. My friend O'Lear kind of created this one. It's a little bit more core oriented. Since we did the core the other day, we want to keep it working it. We don't want it to just you know, slack off too much. So again, we're going to start in that same warrior position. Arms at shoulder level, shoulder blades down, turning your feet. First one 90 degrees, hips, shoulders still to the front. Heel back, toes forward on that back foot. Make sure those knees go the same direction your toes are angled so that you're not twisting your knee. Spread your toes, get the weight evenly distributed. Sink straight down as you bend your knee. And again, check the positioning, make sure that you're stable. Get the weight into both feet as evenly as you can. So that little toe side of that back foot, really press that down so you get good support. Shoulder, shoulder blades down. Exhale, tension. Now we're going to kind of twist a little bit. So stretch the spine apart and bring that back hand up next to the front one. So you're pulling that hip slightly up as you do that. And then we're going to pull the arm back right at shoulder level hand to your elbow, like you're pulling on the bow and looking out over that front hand, striding where you're gonna shoot your arrow. And then let's do that again. Pull the hand to the front and then pull the bow string back. And then let it go and back into a warrior two. So the arms come back straight out. And then straighten your knee, turn the feet forward, and release. So a little bit of work through that midsection as we shoot those arrows. And again, sink evenly into your feet, shoulders back and down, crown to the ceiling. And we're going to, of course, check out those places on the other side we might want to shoot off our arrow to. So arms again, shoulder level, sink evenly into your feet. Turn the first foot 90 degrees. The second one, heel back, toes forward. Pull that hip back. Don't let it swing around yet. And again, bend your knee. Check its positioning. Make sure it's right above the ankle and that you can see that toe. Spread your toes, sink straight down. And then shifting that back arm all the way straight around to the front. Pull that hip just slightly around as well. And then pull the arm back by your ear, by your shoulder. And then again, releasing. And pull it back one more time. And shoot that arrow coming back into warrior two. Keep that knee bent. Keep the weight on both feet. And straightening your knee and turning forward. Energize your star and release. Take a moment, shoulders back and down a couple of times, and relax. Now we're going to continue in that warrior two position, and we're going to do a little side work this time. So again, spread your toes out, get everything aligned and straight to the front, arms again at shoulder level. Keep the shoulder blades, shoulders down away from your ears, spread your toes out. And turn your feet 90 degrees, and then heel back, toes forward, everything to the side. Bend the front knee, sink straight down into your warrior two. 
Check that back foot, make sure you've got weight on it as well. Check that front leg, make sure it's where it's supposed to be. Take a breath, relax. And then we're gonna to push to the front, bend your arm and bring the elbow just above your knee and the other arm straight above you. So no pressure in the arm on the leg. That side of your body is supporting, spine is supporting, and this arm just is positioning. And then turn your palm toward your head and you can rotate that arm next to your ear and really reach out so you're stretching those ribs apart. Take a breath, sink into the foot behind you, little toe side, and out through the head and the fingertips as you look forward, or you can rotate and look up a little bit if that's better for your neck. Take a breath. Both feet supporting you. And then the arm comes up, pulling your whole body back into warrior two. Remember, those legs never move. And then straighten your knee, bring the feet forward. You're in your scar position. And release. So take a moment. Let the shoulders roll around a little bit, releasing any tension. And of course, we're going to balance and go that opposite direction. So once again, check the weight on both feet evenly. Check the hips and shoulders facing forward. And bring your arms up shoulder level, fingertips reaching out, palms toward the floor. Turn your feet 90 degrees and heel back, toes forward. Pull that back hip back, don't let it go. Bend your knee, check your position. So you're not leaning forward as you do that yet. You're sinking straight down. You're checking that knee, make sure it's not leaning in or out, but straight toward the toe. Sink and relax. Get the weight on both feet. You can turn your palms up and down for that upper arm area to release. Take a moment and breathe. And then again, we're going to shift forward. So we're pivoting here at that front hip joint and then bending the elbow, bringing the arm to the knee and the other one straight up. The side of your body is still up. Your head is reaching to the side, still looking to the front. You can turn that palm toward your head and again, reach it long. So ankle, knee, hip, shoulder should be as straight a line as feels right for your body. Take a breath, really reaching into that little toe side of your foot and out through the head and the fingertips. Take a breath, keep looking forward or a little rotation to look up toward the hand in the air. Breathe, remember don't put a lot of pressure on that front knee. And then leading with the hand in the air, pivot your upper body all the way back into warrior. Straighten your knee, turn the feet forward, energize your star, and release. Take a moment, feel that. One more version. So as we do this, if you like that previous version that we just did, you can stick with that. So again, Sink evenly into your feet. Keep the hips and shoulders front, arms out at shoulder level. Turn your feet 90 degrees and heel back, toes forward. Sink into your warrior two, knee right above your ankle. Check you can see that big toes, spread the toes themselves, get that weight onto that back foot as much as you can. Take a breath, palms up and down for that shoulder alignment. And again, pushing. And this time you can keep your arms straight and pivot just like we do when we go into triangle. So again, ankle, knee, hip, shoulder lined up as you come into that position with this arm coming down along the leg. Or you can have the knee, uh, elbow bent and on the knee, just positioning, not really supporting. Take a breath. Deepen as much as you want. And again, this hand that's down does not support, just positions. Hand in the air pivots you back up, palms toward the floor, 
straighten the knee, feet to the front, energize the star, and release. And of course, yeah, we need to do one more to the other side. Take a breath and relax. Sink evenly into your feet. Check your hips and shoulders still to the front. And arms again, shoulder level. Turn your feet 90 degrees, heel back, toes forward, pull that back hip back. Bend your front knee right above your ankle as you sink straight down. Make sure your knee is above your toe, or above your ankle and you can see your toe. Take a breath. Just relax, shoulder, shoulder blades down. And then again, we're going to pivot and bring one hand down along that front shin and the other one straight up, side of your body up toward the ceiling. We're reaching your head to the side, reaching those fingertips away from each other. Remember, no support on that arm that's down. Take a breath, sink into it. And then lead with those fingertips up, pivoting back into warrior two, palms toward the floor, straighten the knee, turn the feet forward, star position, and release. So again, shoulders back and down. We're going to add a little twist to it now. So we're going to go into that exact same position we just did. And then we're going to do a little bit of, yeah, twisting. So as we do this, remember, you can always go back to one of those previous versions. Again, sink evenly into your feet. Make sure your toes start straight ahead. Hips and shoulders open, arms and shoulder up. Shoulder blades down, shoulders away from your ears. And again, turning your feet 90 degrees. Heel back, toes forward. Remember, those knees want to go the same direction as your toes. Bend your front knee, sink into your warrior hips, sinking straight down. Check that position of your front leg. We're going to push again and pivot. One arm coming up, the other one going down. Now, you can stay here or we can do our twist. So to do the twist, bring your shoulder in front of that leg. Bend your arm in the air and kind of rotate your body to look up toward the ceiling. If you want, you can go into the bind, pushing your hand through your leg and then seeing if you can get both your hands together behind you, pulling that shoulder back and the chest a little further toward the ceiling. Wait until both feet evenly, don't forget that. And don't forget to breathe. So the more you turn your whole body, you've got to have that spine apart from the twist. And then if you clasp your hands or got them in that direction, bring them back, pivot back up, palms to the floor, shoulders down, warrior two, straightening, turning the feet, and star position. Release. And of course, Got to balance the body and do that to the other side. So once again, check your starting position. Relax your shoulders, maybe a couple circles to release any tension. Arms at shoulder level, turning the feet. 90 degrees with the first foot. Heel back, toes forward. Make those hips stay facing the front. Spread your toes out and sink into your arm. Knee above your ankle, don't let it lean in or out, just right above. Spread the toes, get that weight into the back foot too. Take a breath, relaxing, and push. Pivoting into your first position. Staying there with the arm along the leg and the other one straight up. Or working with that hand to the front and bending your elbow, bringing it back into it. Little twist or leaning deeper, bringing that hand under your leg and back towards your hip and seeing if you can clasp the hands on the side. Again, the body faces the front or a little bit up toward the ceiling as you move into that twist, opening through the chest and shoulder, taking a breath. 
relaxing as much as you can into it. Don't forget to have weight on that back foot. And then releasing your arms back straight, pulling up, warrior two, straightening the knee, feet to the front, and releasing from star into mountain pose. Take a moment and breathe. Shoulders back and down, hands to your heart. We'll look at them as you bring them toward the ceiling. A little back bend, looking at the hands behind you, and then exhale, follow them all the way down, and into child's pose. So come to the floor. You can stay in child's pose as we get ready for our relaxation, or you can go into corpse position, which I'm going to do because it's easier to talk. So just let your body relax, shoulders down. If you're going into corpse position, start in staff position at the end of the mat, pushing up through your feet, shoulders and shoulder blades down, core active to let you roll onto your back. And as you get all the way down, hands, palms up at your sides, shoulders down, toes toward each other, and then just let your legs relax. You're in child's pose again. Just let your whole spine stretch and your body sink into that surface beneath you. Deep breaths, let your belly soften. Let your breath deepen and let your body sink into that surface beneath you. As you breathe and relax, just allow the earth to support you, letting your body release any tension. And move the shoulders around whatever position you're in, letting that whole upper body relax a little bit more. Deep breath, tension out. And just let your body sink deep into that earth support. Now allow your awareness of your body to release from your attention. As you do, know that other thoughts will come to your mind. It's the job of your mind to produce those thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. Just allow the thoughts to flow in and out as easily as your breath. No need to remember the past or anticipate the future. No need to dwell on any content of your thoughts. Just let them go without awareness, allowing your body to sink and your mind to float. And as you breathe more deeply, sinking into that earth embrace, mind just drifting. Allow your attention to release both your body and your mind. Let your awareness focus on that peace within. Fill your body with peace. Fill your mind with peace. And just take a few moments being peace. You have longer to keep relaxing today. Take as much time as you have opportunity. It's time to get ready for the rest of the day. Just begin drawing energy and awareness back with the breath to the moment, to the moment, to your body. And begin moving your body gently, however feels good for you today. As you breathe more deeply, just stretch more fully. And when you're ready for your yoga hug of appreciation, 
sitting by this towards your heels. Draw your heels up near your hips and your knees up towards your feet. Wrap your arms around however it feels good for that appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, just bring your head and feet to the floor, roll over to the side, and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.